Now to a disturbing headline about hair dye and chemical hair straighteners. This really got my attention. Yeah. Ladies, you definitely want to listen to this one. All of that hair coloring could come with a hidden risk. Natisha Lanes has been looking into this for us tonight. Yeah, guys, so according to a new study, that risk could increase your chances for breast cancer. And experts say the connection is very concerning, particularly for black women. It's not uncommon for women to switch up their look, but be careful about those hair makeovers. Using permanent hair dye and chemical straighteners may raise the breast cancer risk for women. That's according to a study published by the International Journal of Cancer. Researchers studied more than 46,000 cancer-free women over eight years. All of them had a sister with cancer. So automatically, this is a high-risk group of women. Overall, the study found a 9% increase of breast cancer. When broken down by race, white women who use permanent hair dye increased by 7% and black women, 45%. One of our hypotheses is that the products marketed to dye black women's hair might be different than the products that are used for white women's hair. Women who use chemical straighteners also showed 18% increased risk and 31% when used more frequently. It wasn't surprising. Angela Ba owns Texture Hair Salon in Buckhead. She's been a natural hairstylist for 12 years. She says she will empower her clients with this new information. I will definitely use this as a point of reference for them. Back in 2009, comedian Chris Rock raised concerns about the dangers of the chemical used to straighten black women's hair. His documentary Good Hair profiled the ways black women are willing to get straight hair. Could you tell us how dangerous relaxer is? Sodium hydroxide will burn through your skin. I think this is a good wake up call for the, all women to think about what can I do to decrease my risk from breast cancer. Now, it's important to point out that the study did not advise women to stop using those products. But as Dr. Reddy said, there are things that you can do to prevent breast cancer. So you can be an active person, limit alcohol, be, be a healthy weight and get appropriate screenings based on your family history.